Hi, I'm Athena from Readings with Athena Silver, and thank you, and I welcome everybody back for my first video. Very happy to see all the views that I got. Thank you, guys. Today, I want to talk about three ways to clean your crystals. Many people have issues, and they think it's very hard, and they get worried that they're not doing it right. So today, I'm going to talk about the three ways that you can do it. The first way I'm going to bring up is cleansing it with sea salt and other herbs. I, I like to use parsley, a little bit of basil, sometimes a little bit of mint in my concoction. And what you do is you, you, you just put it in a jar, all the ingredients, then you take your crystal and you put it in and you just kind of swoosh it around, swirl it around and you leave it there for a little while. This is the best way to clean it if you just bought it at the store or you're just starting out. It's the best way to do it. It gives it a, a very good clean and it, it takes the charging and enchantment a lot better. So that was number one. After you, after you take it out, run it under water and set it on a windowsill or out under the, the moon to charge. The best dates to charge are a full moon or a new moon the day before or the day after. Those are the best times. So the second way that I would do, and this goes for if you need to do a deep cleaning, if there's a lot of negative energy buildup and you wanna get rid of it, you would go outside in, in a sacred part of your yard or sacred space and you dig a small hole and you bury it. And you leave it there for at least 24 hours, 48 hours, depending on how much negativity is built up on it and how clean you really wanna get it. So you, you bury it, you wait your time, you dig it back up, make sure you leave it to charge under a moon for at least 24 hours or a full night. And then you put it, and then you can enchant it. Now, the third way I would tell you is really good for spot cleaning. And what all you do is you light an incense, then you take your crystal and you run it through the smoke just like this. And you wanna get every spot of that crystal now I use it for spot cleaning in between clients when I'm doing um, healing or crystal healing or anything like that. I like to take a second and use the smoke to cleanse it. And then I, you don't have to charge it, but I like to at the end of the night, if, especially if I've been using it a lot, I'll, I'll like to give it a nice charge. Now for enchantments, all an enchantment is, is putting your intention and your energy into the stone and what you want to that stone to do for you. Green Aventine, <laughs> never say it right, Aventine. Um, it is really good for prosperity and attracting luck and attracting money and, and attracting abundance to your life. That's this. I, this is really good for um, any kind of money spells, any kind of abundance spells. I usually try to I, I'm a multi-use crystal person. I like to use them in spell work. I like to use them in healing work. I like to use it in, in readings. You know, they're really multi-purpose. So I like to have a lot of them. I keep mine in a coffin though. <laughs> but you don't have to. You can keep it wherever you want. Um, but I encourage you guys to try it out and, and tell me what you think. And make sure you if you like this video, you hit like and you subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna have more videos going up soon. So, you know, let me know how it goes. Let me know if you need any more pointers. And I wish you all many blessings. Goodbye.